Hi guys, welcome to my channel or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So today is another update video uh, for my Atelier at Home series and I think this is update 20. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, the way I'm gonna talk about the update today, I'm gonna start off with the oil paintings first and then go into the drawing portion uh, just because I think I, um, I have more interesting stuff to show the drawing portion of the of the update so yeah let's get going hi all right so for the oil painting uh portion of the update um really there's not much to show that's why i'm doing it first so uh if you guys have seen my other videos you know that when i'm really in a rut i do a value sphere so this one i based it off this book here in terms of the colors and she only used um for this one titanium white ever black and not umber so basically a grisaille this was an exercise from Juliet's book so even though i've done a lot of spheres already i don't think i've done just grisaille so and that's why i ended up doing and i'm i think i have videos of this one so i'll be showing that right now while i'm talking so yeah value spheres um really they're great to do especially if you're testing out new a new color palette they're great exercises so yeah and like i said when i'm in a rut um for any of my mediums that i use like color pencil watercolor what have you i always uh, do a value sphere so yeah and then the next one is <laughs> uh this one right here it's not done so okay i will talk about this one a bit because um my original plan for this painting so um so this is the um reference photo which is me sewing but uh, my plan was to change the background and more make it into more of a classical painting style so I've done the block in and I'll be showing okay so my original intent was to actually um, do a, a standalone video for this painting basically me doing the painting from beginning to end so um, I filmed me doing this block in period like, like the whole process and like I said uh, I was gonna film the entire thing and maybe just uh, show it in like you know like fast speed as a just to kind of show my process but so as you guys can see I ended up getting stuck in this uh, phase the grisaille block in and then I lost my mojo <laughs> so um, I don't even know if I'm gonna continue with this painting or wipe it off I just I just don't know what happened like as soon as I did it I was kind of hyped up when I was doing it and then as soon as I did the block in I left it alone for a few days and then when it was completely dry i just i don't know i just i just lost my mojo with um okay so i think what it is i was gonna say i lost my mojo with oil painting but really i think it's because right now with with all the mediums that i'm i'm using oil painting is the one i'm really the most comfortable with so oh gosh yeah so i guess i'm i'm in a rut with it like um i was thinking maybe because i've been using the zorn palette for a while and even with this one my plan was to use a zorn palette but i was just like i was getting i was just really getting bored I, that's that's the thing so i don't know yeah so i think i'm hoping it's just a face sorry i'm like babbling right now because i don't really know how to put it into words but um uh, I think maybe some of you know what I'm talking about when you know when you're you're on your artistic journey and there just comes a point like where you just kind of like oh my gosh like it's just you know you need to do something else I think just to kind of bring that spark back and this one I don't know if this is it if this is the one that's gonna bring the spark back so I might like I said I might just wipe it off and maybe go on into something else like i was thinking of maybe doing a master copy of this because i really like this painting by um 
Who is this one by? William and Mary Chase. So, yeah, but really, I'm not gonna force myself to do it. Like, I figured I'll just let it pass. If it doesn't come back in a while, that's just how it is. Because that's what I've always kind of promised to myself is that, you know, I don't wanna, I just don't wanna do it, in, you know, for the sake of uh, having something to show on my channel or because, you know, that's what people expect me to do or, you know, it's, I, I don't. Like, I'm not like that in real life. Like, if I don't like something, I just won't do it. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm not going to start doing that now for for my videos, right? So, I'm just going to let that pass and basically move on. So, yeah. So, but the good thing is that in terms of drawing, I have, like, I have a better, a better, uh, should I say news, like, better better feeling towards it i guess so um a big part of my atelier update is uh, doing the barg and i really I love this book um like i've said before i think doing the barg is really one thing that really improved my artwork and in terms of just learning how to see and um yeah yeah so basically i think that's the biggest thing for me is like you know like seeing values and stuff like that but as you guys can see, it's a big book. So, um, it's really hard to just kind of just carry it around with me. Because what happens, especially lately, is that I do most of my drawings on the go. Like when I have a free time, like waiting for my kids, when I'm shuffling them around, or like in between, um, in between chores, in between stuff that I have to do. So what I've decided for now is I'm gonna move on from the bar, move on from the barg and switch to just doing the the Vanderpool studies. And guys, this thing is amazing because, as you can see, it's uh, such a small book, so I can pretty much carry it around with me. And the plates are so small; they are really they're a lot faster than the barg for sure. So that's what I have been doing. Uh, hang on a sec. I, think I forgot to bring something. Up. Okay, yeah. So talking about the the Vanderpool studies, like I said. So I started off uh, doing it on this sketchbook right here. If you guys have seen my other videos, this is what I usually carry with me because it's uh, what I use for uh, practicing my watercolor. So I started off doing the the copies here so these are like basically just like the i'm trying to do it in order like so starting off with the eyes and then after is the nose so like these are the ones that i'm that i've copied so it's i started off with that and then uh i switched to this sketchbook right here let's see if it's recording yep which is just a cheap sketchbook I found at a Japanese dollar store and it's really good. I really love the paper of the sketchbook. Uh, so good for for pencil. Like I think I even, yeah, I've even tested it for watercolor and stuff and markers and it's pretty good. So that was a good find. So yeah, so I'll just show you guys. So even um, when I'm really busy, I'm able to do even just one plate a day so these are what i've done i have quite a few of them because they're so easy to do and it's pretty much like a a bar but like pocket edition in a way because like yeah they're like the plates are really small and I've been really loving doing them. I just use a mechanical pencil and that's it. I'm doing the nose section right now. So yeah, like I said, even when it's really busy, I you know, I just promise myself to even just do one simple one a day. So yeah, that's that's great. So for sure I'm I'm gonna keep on doing this. Uh just doing the the plates. So what, after the nose, what's the after the nose, the ear, okay. 
and also I'm reading it while I draw like the the text so it's very helpful and in terms of this one I've really only done one color study in terms of watercolor like clean air I guess and it's this one right here uh, really don't like this one because I don't know how to paint water um, snow in watercolor so I am gonna be practicing more of that for sure um, I'll insert a picture of me in the car <laughs> while I did this because now the lockdown has been lifted in here in Ontario anyway so yeah my my kids are back to their activities and that's when I do a lot of my watercolor studies and basically in terms of the drawing like I said aside from the Vander pole I've decided to just um, do more of the drawings from Loomis because I really want to nail <clears throat> my anatomy and figure drawing where I get to a point that I can do a figure uh, without reference just you know like if I like I imagine a figure I can just do it off the top of my head like you know like an action pose without having to use a reference all the time that's my goal anyway but even if I don't get there I just really I'm really finding it fun to to do figures right now so um, I also just finished the um, Jane Davenport I heart figure drawing class so I think that's maybe another reason why I'm really into doing a lot of figures I mean this is a fashion fashion illustration stuff but you know when you study figure drawing right it's always you always have to start off at the basics so so this one was great that was like a just some fun little drawing and then I did start off uh, re-watching Aaron Bliss Aaron oh my gosh I don't know what's wrong with me today Aaron Bliss's um, anatomy class so I just kind of redid the torso section again because the way Aaron really explains um, anatomy it's really it made me well a lot of stuff clicked yeah yeah so that's what i'm trying to say so i'm just doing like a lot of fun sketches like that right now like i just saw a video by peter han and he was talking about you know what just draw whatever you love to do like you know like even though you're doing studies make sure to always make time for stuff that you enjoy drawing right so and that's what i'm enjoying right now these are just more like lowish style faces and also well this one is from loomis so that's just the kind of stuff I want to do right now. So I'm really pumped up when it comes to drawing. So um, that's probably what you'll be seeing more of in the future. As for oil painting, I'm hoping my mojo comes back. But from now, for now, I'm moving on and I'm not, not going to kill myself or berate myself over it, you know. Um, yeah, so... This one, I don't know if you're going to see this again or I'll wipe it off. I'll probably keep it and then just um, put it aside and then start on to a new start a new painting yeah anyways oh my gosh thank you guys if you made it this far <laughs> i know i babbled on a lot but um yeah if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and um stay safe wherever you are um i don't know if i have a, any audience in the ukraine but um if i do we're all praying for for your country so Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.